Hi, I'm Captain Nathaniel Lemon. I'm a professional redfish angler here in the state of Florida. I've been a charter guide for over a decade and I travel the southeast fishing uh, redfish tournaments. So today I'm here to kind of give you a sneak peek into what I consider my top redfish lures. Um, now when you're fishing for redfish you're either going to be doing one of two things. You're either going to be sight casting which is a finesse style fishing or you're going to be power fishing, uh, blind casting and looking for reaction type baits. Um, so what I've got right here is kind of an assortment of lures um, that if I was filling a tackle box for redfish, this is what I'd be looking for. And these lures are going to work anywhere around the southeast, whether you're in Texas, Louisiana, Florida, Georgia, or South Carolina. Um, so just here, I want to go through them real quick. There's probably about 10 different lures here that will cover every aspect of whether you're finesse fishing or whether you're going to be blind casting. So I'm going to start with finesse style fishing because that's what we do a lot of around here, around the New Smyrna Beach, Mosquito Lagoon, Indian River area, um, where we're actively poling or on a trolling motor and we're looking for fish and trying to sight cast and actually pitch to the fish and, and watch them eat it. Um, so there's really three main things that I use here. And the primary bread and butter bait is going to be a soft plastic fluke style bait. Uh, generally rigged re weedless, um, pretty much just like this. Um, sometimes it'll have a little weight built into the shank, but that's, uh, that's one of our staple lures around here. Second one is going to be a jig head uh, with a little small paddle tail swim bait on it. Um, these work great around oyster beds, around docks, anywhere you want to kind of get a little bit of a, a depth change uh, to the lure and it doesn't have to be a weedless application. Third one's going to be a swim bait, and there's a variety of different manufacturers that make swim baits, and they've been around for over a decade now. Um, first were popular on the Bass Tour, and now they've kind of made their way into salt water, but a swim bait is an excellent bait for, they work great for um, blind casting and for finesse style fishing, pitching to it and watching them eat it. Um, but another popular lure, especially around Florida, and even over in, um, in any other state around the southeast, are spoons. Um, now, if I had to pick a lure that I don't leave at the house without, and that's going to be a spoon when I'm looking for redfish, um, they're excellent for sight casting, they're excellent for blind casting, they work in all aspects. Standard gold spoon is going to be a number one producer. Um, I've also got some printed patterned ones here. Um, these are all made by Aqua Dream, and I really don't get into manufacturers and different color choices. There's so many of them out there. These are just you know some personal favorites of mine, um, but I have a lot of different one of these, and this is a pinfish pattern spoon. This is just a little bit of a, um, a bait fish profile spoon, and then a standard gold spoon. Um, then we're going to get in a little bit about power fishing, or maybe blind casting and looking for a bite. And a topwater plug um, is, going to, is an excellent choice no matter what state you're in, whether it's Florida or, or anywhere else. Um, redfish love to strike on the surface, so a topwater plug, uh, something you can walk the, walk the dog on the top would be an excellent choice to have in your box. Um, I also have a stabile, a stabile stick shad here, and this is to cover mid-train depths, maybe where you're fishing in one to four foot of water, um, that this bait can get down into that one to two foot range and get fish that are maybe not coming up to the surface, but are looking for something a little bit more suspended. Um, and then I got a Paul Brown lure, and that is really similar to the uh, Sabeel Stick Shed. Um, something that gets subsurface, doesn't create a lot of uh, a noise, um, but it's got a soft, really soft feel that the redfish love, especially in Texas, uh, Louisiana, and here. Um, also a great trout bait, too. Um, then the last thing I'm going to cover are, are things that are, you know, maybe if you're working in a dirty water scenario, um, or you're looking or working more of depth ranges and you need more vibration or something to pick up a reaction style bait and one of them is going to be a crankbait. Crankbaits are really popular where there's jetties uh, especially in Texas, Louisiana these work really good um, where you can get down into that 10 to 20 foot range uh, and pick up your bite uh, from redfish that are near the bottom in that type of environment where these other things aren't going to get that get down there for you. Um, another one is going to be a chatterbait um, these are also heavier, usually weigh about a half ounce to three eighths ounce. They'll, they'll dive down a little bit deeper and they, they're a swimming jig, uh, a bladed swimming jig. So they're going to put off a lot of vibration in the water for you and you can rig these with a variety of soft plastics. The last one's going to be a spinner bait and spinner baits are popular here. Um, they're popular in Texas and Louisiana. You can, again, you can rig, rig them with a variety of soft plastics, um, but they put off a lot of vibration in dirty water. Um, where redfish can kind of not have to see it from a distance, but they can pick up on the vibration. Um, so that's you know about 10 lures that pretty much are my standard 10 lures. When I'm fishing for redfish anywhere, 
uh, in the country. So when you're looking to fill a tackle box and um, you know find some lures to catch redfish, this is what you're going to have uh, want to have with you. So I uh, hope you can take that and put it to some good use and get out there and catch some more redfish. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.